This is Eternal Place, Pokemon Blue. Last time we started our adventure in the Pokemon world. Now we're gonna continue because we finally are able to expand our team. We have gotten access to Pokeballs. And now we're gonna go and get some more Pokemon on our team. Now, remember last time when we went up here and this old grandpa didn't want to go and let us go here? Well, it seems like things have changed. Ah, I've had my coffee now and I feel great. Sure you can go through. Are you in a hurry? Yeah, we are. So, if you said no to this guy, he will basically teach you how to capture Pokemon. But, I don't need a tutorial for that. I'll even show you instead when I actually go and capture Pokemon. But, what is this gym? The gym doors are locked. What? There's no Pokemon gym? It's not open? Oh, that's, that's, that's kind of lame. Why does this guy maybe know something? This Pokemon gym is always closed. I wonder who the leader is. Okay. Well, if we can't do this gym right now, I guess we have to come back at a later time. Oh well. But before I actually go head up north, which is actually going to be our next direction, I actually want to go to the, to the west. Some more grass here. I'm just going to go and continue a bit west now and see what this place is. Oh! Never mind. Hey, Sitano! You going to the Pokemon League? Forget it. You probably don't have any badges. The guard won't let you through. By the way, did your Pokemon get any stronger? Oh! That was his way of saying it's gonna be a battle? <laughs> there we go! So it's it's our rival battle, Tame. Take two! Oh, he has a Pokemon now. Wow, level 9 Pidgey! Uh oh, this is not good. I actually forgot about this, that there's actually a Pokemon battle here. And I'll be pretty screwed because I have only one Pokemon and he has two. And his pitch is level 9. See how much damage I do? Nothing. Oh wow! So much damage and I miss as well. Is this it? One health. This is it then basically. Yep. Squirtle fainted. Yeah, am I great or what? Satan is out of useful Pokemon. Satan blacked out. Oh, damn. So this basically happens if you fight a Pokemon both wild or fight a trainer. If you lose, you basically black out and you're being sent to the nearest Pokemon Center that you visited last. So I was quite a bit surprised there. Oh well, I kinda wasn't though, but I forgot that you fight Steven here, or the rival here again. So he told something about the Pokemon League. Yeah, the Pokemon League is in this direction. And when you go there, you can fight the Elite Four and the Pokemon Champion. But to go to the Pokemon League, you need to get all the 8 Pokemon badges first. And that's not something you can do right away. That's actually takes some skill and dedication to do. That's gonna be our goal. Let's just fight to this grass now. Because he had two Pokemon. We have to get some Pokemon too. Rattata, for example. That sounds good idea. Rattata is pretty good in the early levels, but when you get to about 25-ish, he starts to become rather weak, so you should probably dump him then. Not like throw him away or kill him, but that's just cruel. Don't do that. You can put him in your computer, and you probably use him later if you want to have him. But I should stop using him without 25 because he's just getting a bit weak. So now we see that Raditz has red level health bar. This means that he's very low health. The lower health the Pokemon has, the bigger chance they'll be captured by a Pokeball. Let's do it. One, two, three. Yes! Alright. Raditz was caught! New Pokedex data will be added for Rattata! But anything when it attacks. Small and very quick. It's a common sight in many places. Rattata? Nah. So here we go! I captured my first Pokemon by myself! Let's check it out! 
There it is. So as you see that the red has only three health right now. It's because that was the health he had when he captured it. Don't worry though, we're gonna get into a Pokemon Center soon. Let's see if there's any other Pokemon we can find here. This is a different place than where we came from with Palatine. Oh, look here! Another, this is Pidgey? Nope, not Pidgey, this is Sparrow. And Sparrow is the Pokemon that I want to capture. Because Sparrow has a flying type move called Peck. And that's going to be very useful for our next direction. So I want to capture Sparrow. We'll see that we are very lucky here. Sparrow is level 5. That means we don't need to level it so much. Peck really hurts though. Even against Squirtle, that's two level higher, so it really does a lot of damage. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna dare take another tackle hit. I'm probably gonna make it faint. You can't capture Pokemon in the faint. So I'm gonna capture it now. Let's see. One, two. Yeah! Alright. Sparrow was caught. That's great for us. New Pokedex data will be added for Sparrow. It's bugs in grassy areas. It has to flap its short wings at high speed to stay airborne. That's pretty rough. That's pretty cool, so now we have another Pokémon. Let's check it out. Sparrow. L5, 20 health. Actually means it has higher health than Squirtle has. It has low special and defense, which is normal for Sparrow, but its speed is 13. You can peck and grow. And Peck is what I really want to use, because Peck is really powerful at our next stage. I'm actually going to have this as in my team for now. Uh, Pidgey is, of course, very useful. So I probably want to go and capture Pidgey as well. So we're just going to do that. Just going to heal our Pokemon back to full health. So see, now that we have three Pokemon. It's a great start. I'm not going to go back and fight Steven yet, because... His level 9 PG is going to cause enough problems for me. Even with my other two Pokemon, they're just too low level. So I'll go back here later. But first, let's just go and find a Pidgey. There we go. Well, Pidgey appeared. Also level 5. Probably notice, if you played other Pokemon games, you probably notice here that... One, I wonder. Um, is this a... A... Guy Pidgey or a girl Pidgey? Well, in Generation 1 there was no genders. Genders first came in Generation 2. Actually, it's a bit wrong because there is one Pokemon in Generation 1 that already has a gender. And that Pokemon is called Nidoran. That's because Nidoran has different evolutions based on if it's female or male. And we can actually go Captain Nidoran with one now, but I'm actually going to skip it because Nidoran is not very useful right now. So I'm just gonna take it later. Let's go and capture Pidgey. One, two, and yeah. Pidgey was caught. Great! Now our Pokemon field is expanding a lot. We are up to four Pokemon. A common sight in forest and woods. It flaps its wings at ground level to kick up blinding sand. Hmm. So Pidgey is a bit um, weaker than Sparrow now, but. Later, Pidgey will outgrow Sparrow and become a lot more stronger, and... Pidgey you can probably use all the way till you are in Elite 4. Pidgey is really, really good. So I'm just gonna keep Pidgey in my team and have have it be decently level, but I'm gonna use Sparrow mostly now, because Pidgey, Sparrow's gonna help me most. So now we healed up. We have four Pokémon. I think that's a good start. Now let's move onwards to our direction here. Trainer tips. Catch Pokemon and expand your collection. The more you have, the easier it is to fight. Well, that's exactly what we just did. So, we follow the trainer tip. Road 2. Radiant City to Pure City. Pure City! Now there is where our first real challenge will come. For that, oh, of course, Pokemon battles. Can't go without them. On Rattata. No 3. That should be easy peasy for Squirtle. Yeah, I look to take a lot of health. I don't care if he takes my defense away because 
one more hit, then right that goes down. Hey, hit, hit, that's pretty good. But that doesn't help. Right, I fainted. it. Level 8! And this also means... I learned a new ability called Bubble. And Bubble is a water-type move. That's gonna be very useful in our next huge challenge. And of course, more Pokemon battles, then get another Rattata. I'm just gonna stick with Squirrel for now until we get to our next place, because... Squirrel should be very good level for our first gym. This is where Squirrel is very useful. There's something else I want to talk about here. Oh, critical hit. Is that the first Pokemon you choose will also determine kind of a difficulty you will have in the start of the game. Because the first gym battle we're gonna go through will have rock types. And water types and grass types do very well against rock, and fire types doesn't do well at all. So that's why if you choose Charmander, you might struggle a bit in the start, you might have to level a bit to win. But if you choose Squirtle or Bulbasaur, you will have an easier time. That's a bit of a recommendation level if you're new to Pokémon. But where are we now? Clear tips. Weaken Pokémon before attempting capture. When healthy, they may escape. Well, that's of course what we've been doing. I came with some friends. They're out for Pokemon fights. Yep. So, in this place, the Viridian Forest, we might actually find Pokemon trainers who actually want to fight us. I ran out of Pokeballs to catch Pokemon with. Should carry extras. I totally agree. That's why I have about 10 Pokeballs. I use 3 now to capture Pokemon, so I still have 7 left. Let's see what Pokemon do we have in this place. A new one, Caterpie. Now Caterpie, what does it look like? Yeah, it looks like a bug, isn't it? That's right, it is a bug. It's a bug type. And one of the reasons I captured Sparrow is because bug types, they hate flying types. They take a lot of damage from flying type moves, and that's why I'm gonna use my Sparrow. Two hits. Bug types are usually very weak. In Generation 1, bug types are probably the worst Pokemon type of them all. They're really weak and they don't really have any good moves. So, bug types are rather weak in Generation 1. They get better in early, later generations when they get some really sick moves. But Generation 1, you should really try to avoid using a bug type because you will generally be in a disadvantage. Let's use Bubble now. That's pretty cool. Oh, this Caterpie is level 5. Let's capture it, actually. I mean, we need the numbers right now, so it doesn't really matter if it's a bug type for me. Yeah, I think I'm fainted if I hit it again, so let's just use the Pokeball right now. Oh! One, two, and... yep. Yeah. Alright, Caterpie was caught! The available for Caterpie, Worm. Its short feet are tipped with a suction pad that enable it to tirelessly cleanse slopes and walls. Wanna give a nickname to Caterpie? Mm, nah, I don't really like to use nicknames. I'll do it in... I do other Pokemon games, I'll do use nicknames. Oh! You see that exclamation mark? That means that you are engaging a Pokemon trainer. Hey, you have Pokemon. Come on, let's battle them. Uh-oh! Bugcatcher wants to fight. So yeah, this is a trainer. I can use a Weedle. Now, Weedle is also a bug Pokemon just like Caterpie. But Weedle is a dual type. Weedle has another type called Poison. Poison is one I do really don't really find very powerful in Generation 1. But they get very powerful in Generation 2 and 3. In Generation 1 I do feel another a bit weak. Mainly because Psychic type is insanely powerful. That's one of the reasons why Psychic was so nerfed in Generation 2. Because Psychic was just overpowered. Anyways, let's fight him. String shot. String shot is just reducing speed, just like Growl reduces attack. Oh, poison sting. A crit as well. Didn't really hurt though. Poison sting does really low damage, but it has annoying side effect. Which I've been lucky with so far, is that if, if it had 
propped, I would have been poisoned. Which make me take percentage damage every turn. But down it goes. 66 XP! Yeah. So that's why you really want to fight Pokemon trainers as much as you can. Because Pokemon trainers, they give a lot more XP than wild Pokemon. So now I beat his first Pokemon. He has another one, Caterpie. Should I change Pokemon? Yeah, let's do that. I change the Sparrow. Let me show you the power of flying type moves. Let's use Peck. Did you see the sound? I heard the sound, sure as I can see the sound. You heard a sound that means that it's super effective. See how much damage Caterpie took? He dropped. He's even a level higher than me. He took more than half his health in one hit. Oh, critical hit! It's super effective! <laughs> That's a meme, many memes right on the internet. But yeah, critical hit super effective. That means you're gonna do tons of damage. Literally, tons of damage. Defeated the bug catcher! No! Caterpie can't cut it! You got money. This was a nice thing. You don't really get money when fighting normal Pokemon. But you get money from fighting trainers. This guy's also a trainer. So since Sparrow used so well, let's always we switch him. I like Sparrow, I go switch. Now that Sparrow's on top, that means that he'll be prioritized when I'm gonna start a Poke Battle. Let's talk to this guy. Yo, you can't jam out if you're a Pokemon trainer. Oh, really? Bugcatcher wants to fight. Sending out Weedle. Level 7 now, okay. I'm just a little 5 with Sparrow, but let's see if Peck does my wonders. Poison Sting. Okay, no poison so far, that's pretty good. Oh, two levels higher. And Super Effective just carries me so good. Look! That was it for Weedle! And Sparrow got the level! Awesome! He has two more! Kakuna! What's a Kakuna? So introducing another part of Pokemon, Evolution. Doesn't Kakuna look slightly a bit like Weedle? Like, slightly? Yeah, it just looks like a lot of Weedle, but it looks slightly like Weedle. That is because Kakuna is an evolution form of Weedle. Funny thing though is that Kakuna is very weak offensively. Actually, in Generation 1, Kakuna only knows one move Harden. Harden just increases defense. You see that my pack does level less damage. But Kakuna doesn't have any other moves than Harden. Which is kind of obviously a game design fault from, from Game Freak. We only gave him an ability that doesn't even do damage. There's only one Pokemon really that is made for that kind of kind of offensive play that you don't have any attacking moves, only counter moves. But you will get to that when I get to generation 2. But man, the XP is so high. Spirit gets another level instantly, level 7. Now we'll use a little trick for training Pokemon. Well, we're gonna go fight Weedle again with Spirit, but before that, I actually want to put Rattata out. Now, why would I put her Rattata level 3 as the Weedle level 7? Rattata's gonna get destroyed. Yeah, but here's the little point thing about leveling Pokemon in Generation 1. Send out the Pokemon that's low level, then switch him out instantly. If you do that, Rattata will get XP as well. Poison Sting. So you basically have to take another attack, that's fine. It's worth it. <laughs> See, that's the power of the critical hit super effective. One hit KO! See ya, Weedle! 9 XP. The same with Rattata. That's so much, a Rattata gets a whole level. That's one of the key things about leveling Pokemon in Generation 1. Start with a weak Pokemon, switch it up with a very powerful one. The next low level one will get a lot of XP. Just be careful though, because you will always be taking another move in disadvantage. Huh? Run out of Pokemon? Oh, too bad for you. I don't. Tips. Contact Professor Oak via piece to get your Pokédex evaluated. Yeah, they actually didn't show that. Well, I'll show that next time. Oh, Pokéball? For an antidote. So when you see these kind of Pokéball things out in the world, you should go to them. They contain items. 
This is very important for you. Antidotes, of course, will help because if that Weedle's poison thing had poisoned me, I would have needed an antidote, or my Pokémon will actually faint. Not like instantly, but it will faint periodically. Another Pokémon, it's a Weedle again. This one is wild. Should we capture it? Let's see if it survives a Pecto. Uh, no. Oh, that's fine. More XP for Sparrow. A lot of grass here. I mean, we are in the forest, so... More and more grass. I've been lucky with Pokemon fights so far. No fights. Oh, another item. Let's see what it is. It's a potion! Of course, potions are so good to have. Always carry with them. Training tips. No stealing Pokemon from other trainers. Catch only wild Pokemon. That's right, if you actually go and fight a, a trainer type Pokemon, you get it low and you think, oh, let's capture it. It doesn't work. Only catch a wild Pokemon in all games. Hey, wait up! What's the hurry? I don't know. Bugcatcher wants to fight. It's another Weedle. Level 9! Oh, damn. This is high as Steven's Pokemon. It's a bug type, though. And now my spirit level 7. <laughs> it almost one hit KO level 9's Weedle. That's pretty damn impressive. Sparrow is just so useful in this place. There's almost only bug Pokemon here, and Sparrow just wrecks them. Look, Sparrow's already level 8. I mean, Sparrow is already the same level as my Squirtle. Oh, he only had one Pokemon, this guy. I give. You're good at this. Well, yeah, I play all the Pokemon games, so... This is kinda... Routine for me. Oh. Living Rhythm Forest, Pewter City Head. Awesome. Have you noticed the buses on the road side? They can be cut down with a special Pokemon move. Yep, they can. But we won't get to do it right now. But this guy said it's very important. Pokemon live in different places. They live in caves, they live in forests, they live in the water, they live in mountains. You name it. Hmm. You feel maybe there's a new Pokemon here? Let's see. We're worth it, I guess. Oh, here we go. A Pidgey. Level 4. Okay. Let's have a bird battle. Pick. Wow. Off health already. Okay. Well, this place only has the same Pokemon from the previous one, like Pidgey, and they have Rata. Oh! Color change again. Twitter tips. Any Pokemon that takes part in battle, however short, earns XP. Yep, that's just so what I did with Rattata. I had it in battle and it earned XP. The aren't any serious Pokemon trainers here. They're all like bug catchers, but Pewter Jim's Brock is totally into it. Brock? You know who that is? Yep. Brock is the very same guy from the series. He's our first real challenge. Psst. Do you know what I'm doing? No. I'm spraying Repel to keep Pokemon out of my garden. Yeah. So Repel is another item you can buy at the Pokemon. Basically, po Repel Dust makes it so you can walk in Pokemon grass and so on. And you won't encounter wild Pokemon. Oh well, you still can. But you can only encounter wild Pokemon that are higher level than you. If you are higher level than all the wild Pokemon, you can't capture, you can't meet any Pokemon. This is very useful if you just want to go through any place without having to fight too much. Ugh. I'm Jiggly Buff saying this Pokemon gets drowsy. Me too. Yeah, that's, uh, you've probably seen the TV series, Jigglypuffs, when he sings, well, you won't be awake to hear it. What? Team Rocket is on Mount Moon? Huh? I'm on the phone. Scram. <laughs> okay. This guy was apparently talking on the phone and learned that Team Rocket is on Mount Moon. Yep. The very same Team Rocket from the series, except that in the Pokemon Red and Blue versions, we won't be meeting Jesse and James. 
they're actually enemy exclusive characters, but they actually make an appearance of Pokemon Yellow. But I decided to play Pokemon Blue anyways because this is the real first ga first game in the series. Let's visit the Pokemon as well. Good things happen if you raise Pokemon diligently, even the weak ones. Yep. Usually when I play Pokemon, I always try to have a very balanced team. This one has some different items now. It has a escape rope. So basically if you're inside a dungeon or a cave and you can't get out, or you want to get out very fast, this escape rope. It'll send you back to the entrance of the very dungeon instead. Awakening is this as a stat healing item like Antidote and Burn Heal. This one of X sleeping Pokemon. But I won't really need it right now. A shady old man got me to buy this really weird fish Pokemon. It's totally weak and it costs 500. <laughs> totally want to get that as well. Freedom Museum of Science. Oh, that's cool. We can probably go, that, go there next time. It's rumored that Clefairies came from the moon. They appear after Moonstone fell on Mount Moon. That's pretty cool. And this is Jim. Pewter City Pokemon Gym Leader Brock. Rock Solid Pokemon Trainer. So that's gonna be our next goal. We're gonna go inside the Pewter Gym and challenge Brock to get our first badge in getting to our Pokemon League. So that's gonna be the thing we're gonna do on our next part of playing Pokemon Blue. So with that, if you have any feedback on my Let's Play or wanna discuss this game, leave a comment below the video. And if you wanna be notified when I upload more parts and other stuff on my channel, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button. With that, I just want to say thank you for watching, and I'll see you all next time.